Whoa, welcome back to Monster Train. Today's episode's coming to you at 4.30 a.m. Yeah, can you believe that? This is a record ahead episode. I've been doing a lot of late night recording like this. I'm going to regret this. I know I'm going to regret this, but I have been, I don't know, I've been not tired lately when I'm supposed to go to bed. Like, I'm supposed to be asleep right now, but I'm not really tired, so I don't know. I'll do Monster Train ahead of time. I'm like, this is a full day ahead episode, but you know what? It's not too bad, is it? I've been I've been having some bad runs in Monster Train lately, but when I, when I come out of the slumps, I usually feel much better. So today, hopefully, we start the beginning of a nice, like, 10-game win streak. Let's begin. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Exile Wormkin, Exile Melting, it's Pushback Shadow, Chased, Hosting Kin, Purifying Cleanse, Returned Soul. I think Echo Wright is okay. Dusk said he's fallen a lot in his enjoyment of this champion, and I guess I have too because Shellsmith kind of sucks. The mold braces, by the way. There's a consideration to be made for sketches of this clan. Yeah, Shellsmith kind of sucks, so I'll go repeater. But if I have a bad repeater start, like I have what I have hosting can, it's okay. I take it, I go. I go Echo Seedling. I'm gonna try to shotgun a bunch of etches out for first of kin here. That's my game plan. Maybe a little too aggressive, but I think the I think Marshward is just aesthetically not what I want out of the champion. If I bottom four here, Marshward just isn't quite what I wanted. Mm, this is messed up. I did not do that correctly, but I don't know. He's he's just a little upsetting. Not upsetting, he's just a little disappointing. That's what I would say. I want this champion to be a little more fun, I guess. I, I've, I've also had my opinion reduced. I still think he's alright. He's just not quite what I want him to be anymore. There was a time where I thought he was a lot of fun to play, though. I think it's just that Shellsmith is a little more binary than I had original, originally realized. And... Yeah, this champion pet repeater... I don't know, man. Repeater's just kind of lame. When I say that Shellsmith is a little more binary than I originally realized, what I mean is... Shellsmith is only good with certain clan combos, and when it's good, it's really good, and when it's bad, it's just awful. So, I feel like it suffers in that regard a little bit. Okay, this should be fine. 100 damage? Alright. You can give me a Purifying Cleanse and I bet I kill. I'm correct. 8 damage taken? Not too bad. I played pretty aggressive for that opener. I go Hosting Kin here. I'm gonna go Wicklash. I'm not against just playing a full Melting Send It run. Mm. What do I like here? I think I like Tycoon. I think it's Tycoon or Bust here. Could I play Harvest on this run? I don't have anything to Harvest right now. I don't feel like playing Kindle's Vessel. Part of me wants to just skip this, but I should take Baron, because what if the next banner is really bad? And really, if, it's, if that's why I'm taking Baron, I should take Tycoon. Ah. Hey, the next banner is pretty bad. Well, I took Baron, so I'm not going to take Tycoon. But I think I should have taken Tycoon, because I could just throw like a plus 10 on him and call it a day. Well, I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to roll. I don't really want to sit on Lickless Baron. Maybe I should have rolled that Steel Shot, because if there is multi-strike there, I should think about it. Hmm. An interesting thought. 13 times 2 I'm going to play a higher 4. I am not going to return soul that with Echo Seedling. Yeah, we play a higher four, so we just pop this guy. And I'm not going to kill any more of them because I want I mean I need Wickless Baron to get kills here. And I I need him to get like harvests, I should say. There is no reason to play Echo Break there. Do not do it. 
So we go here, and then a purified cleanse, hosting kin, hosting kin. I don't need to etch, I'm not actually getting anything for etching right now. Yeah, it's not a question mark. I will get hosting kin on the next turn, so I can play that. It is guaranteed that I get hosting kin there. I cannot miss. Okay. Not a bad start. I'm okay here. Shelter's good. Shelter's worth fighting for. I have two purifying cleanses. I'll take trip fall. Paraffin Enforcer. Yep, I just want to play Paraffin Enforcer today. Thought about it in the lead up to this. I'm down to just play Paraffin Enforcer. Repeater, if he's playable, he's playable, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Drop cage, I just picked up a drip ball. That's good. Maybe the house Wickless Tycoon. So there's a theory for me, which is that I should play Paraffin Enforcer on Lady of the House, because that's five burnout. I'm going to pass that. Twenty-five. I don't play Heartless, I have Wicklash. So I can pay 3 HP instead of 25 gold for a plus 25. Go blood for blood. I'm a pretty big blood for blood believer. It almost always goes well. Check the temple. Purge stone minus 2. Minus 2 shelter is okay. Purge stone is fine too, but I'm going to play it cool here. We don't need to send our pack shards too high. Let's just carry on. Pushback Talos, a little annoying. I think in this fight I'm better off, because I have the setup here, turn one. Just drop down bottom floor, and hope that Talos comes down here next turn. Man, really, one damage off. But also I want to prep for, this probably means that Talos is not going to come bottom floor twice, is why this is a shame. But it should be okay, I'm also just preparing for maybe needing to reform. That's the other part of playing bottom floor. I could hosting kin my own guy here. I might end up doing that. Oh, I can trip fall. Base Talos. There you go. One of the only boss effects in the game that you can actually beat with trip fall. Just days out of it. Baron's looking a little bit pathetic. We even try in here, buddy. A little free HP for that healer going up. Don't mind if I do. I guess I just completely beat the pushback here. That's really nice. Dude, he is he is a 2028. 20, that does not sound very good. Warp disciple is free eight money. Kill that with hosting kin. I can play Purifying Cleanse here, since it's 4 Burnout in Relentless, that is not enough. That is very not enough, okay. I'm gonna put it on Paraffin Enforcer though. You can get a lot out of that. Maybe if I draw another Shelter here? We got Hosting Kin. Well, we got, oh, we got 410, that's actually better than I thought it would be. And to be fair, my expectations were very low. I'm gonna go ahead and save the HP. I think I can afford to. Yeah, we have a lot of HP here because of the shelter. And the repeater. But that was a bad purifying cleanse. That wasn't right. Bring back Baron, put him down, he's 3747. There we go. It was a bad European cleanse. I should have cleansed the Baron. Okay. With this recruitment, sacrificial resurrection, perfect insanity. I don't think I want. Bur I don't. Yeah. I don't think I want with this recruitment. I don't want sacrificial resurrection. Okay. Baron enforcer is good. And I will want to play in this run 
think it's probably energy for now, because Echo Right basically gives me card draw as it stands. Multi-strike here would be nice. I'm gonna grab the plus 25, we're gonna re-roll. A multi-strike, how lovely. Now we're going to... I'm gonna do it now, we're gonna self-infuse. We're gonna pay a little bit for removals. Because I need to hit my burnout cards now a little quicker. We're gonna buy a removal pair. And we're gonna take our base two here. This paraffin enforcer will carry me, probably. And train steward. How lovely. Alright, here we go. Repeater two, definitely not martial lord. Well, maybe you could play Marsh Ward there. It's just stats. Nah, definitely not. Hey, was that... Could I be in a temple situation here? I am not. I do not think we should go Heaven Seal. My biggest thought is that I need to watch the... Like, I need to watch the Quill Marksmans. We're actually reasonably strong here. Just don't get caught. And we can avoid getting caught by using go right here. Oh, I can do this too. We can return soul Wicklash. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Suddenly we have all the burnout we ever could want. Yeah, my survivability is not ideal. That is a problem. But I just keep an eye out. We kill the marksmen, we don't get steamrolled. This guy hyperscales. It's all good. Kill this. He can tank a few clipped guardians. He'll be alright. Mold. Oh, and then we split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is good. I think this is very good. Feeling, like, feeling really confident in this run right now. Can't wait to see what goes wrong. But I, like, I think that everything is lined up correctly now. I don't even think that there's a bad draw that can kill me. So, I'll be interested to see what the bad draw that kills me here is. I'm in, I'm in good spirits. I got decent survivability with Dripfall. I need to make some removals and clean up a little bit. I'm down for Soul Crushing Guilt. I... I don't think I want any of these. Could go Fatal Melting, but I think I have enough options for backline picks. And let's go hit the left. We can grab our second boy. Second Paraffin Enforcer, get in here. Winged Steel? I could play Concussive Coals too, but I think Winged Steel's better. I don't hate Concussive Coals there, it just incentivizes me to play bottom floor. Multi-strike? I'm okay. I can do it. Important to note here, we're probably going to need to play bottom floor because it's Crystal Cloak. Hmm. One, two, three. I play all of this, so we can go like one, two, what's the draw? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I... I know. No, I know. It's me. It's not... There's no one else to blame. It's, it's me. I did that. I can't blame that on Wing Steel. That's my fault. I know. Like, so the first, the first five times, the first ten times you stick your hand in the bear trap and it closes on you, you can go, oh man, I didn't see that coming, what the hell? The 100th time you slam your hand in the bear trap and it, cra it gets shattered by wing steel, you can't blame wing steel anymore. You can only, you can't blame the mechanism. I no longer will blame the mechanism. I shouldn't have killed that healer, by the way. That was a misplay. 
And I also missed my shelter timing. I'm busy thinking about my hand being mangled by wing steel, though. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm just so. I'm so stupid. Wing steel, you got me. You win this one, buddy. I'm gonna bring back Wicklash. God. I'm, I'm not. I'm not okay. I am not good. Dude, it was all part of my master plan, though. You didn't see this? Come on, you didn't see this coming where I drop Paraffin Enforcer to braid out those stealth? I knew. You think I did that on purpose? No, I knew. I was well aware of what I was doing. It was a choice to slam my hand in that trap. I'm a genius. <laughs> All I can do is laugh. Because if I don't laugh, I mean... What else am I gonna do? It actually was very good for me to keep Echo right alive there, though. Like, that, that was all fine. I think that was the correct... It wasn't the correct choice because I didn't choose that, but it works out. I could bring back broke I could bring Broken Memories, but there's not a good reason to. And I'm not gonna take Votaberry. I'm gonna take Space. We'll go... Clear out the stewards. I think now it's one and one for Minute Mold and Echo Break from here forward. I think having my card not consume is bad, and train stewards don't do much. So we're gonna grab a minus one on shelter. And I would like a double stack. Hold over. Hold over dripfall sounds pretty good here. Give it a minus one. I think it's all temples, right? It is. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for any value stones. I don't really get great value out of any of it. I guess I'll have 15. Or I'll, I'll do whatever. I think they're all pretty bad. Spell chain is okay for armor. Shelter. Unfortunate. I'm gonna just play with the Paraffin Enforcer down here. I'm okay with this. Ah, I can return soul on Wicklash for the Echo Seedling. Then I can play this. I'm gonna put Echo right on a higher floor here. Now that he's undazed, we can bring in the other Paraffin Enforcer. Echo right. I think I need to just let him bring back... Yeah, I think I end my turn here. I need to get back around to my... I, 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 need, I need Burnout Extenders. I need Whiplash, I need whatever. I need Purifying Cleanse. Uh, I'm gonna play Shelter as well. Purifying Cleanse, Shelter, we just want those. Try to start filtering the rest out. If freaking coward didn't have stealth, I'd be winning the fight on this turn. But that's okay. Purifying Cleanse, the back guy. I am scaling quite well. We need to build up our back, our back brother's, uh... His... His burnout, so he doesn't just die. Our back brother, yeah, sure, we can call him that, I guess. Sun's here. This is an okay setup. I'm gonna start killing things for HP now. I was saving it because I wanted to save the HP, but I'm gonna go ahead and start killing things. He went, he dodged me completely. That's okay. You're still gonna die, I just should have gotten a cool free relentless on you here. These two paraffin enforcers, they if they get to strike all of their times, here's 
Here's how big this scaling is, if you're unaware. Just to conceptualize this. If these two paraffin enforcers all get all of their hits out, they scale more than Big Sludge was scaling in the run two days ago. Three days ago? Two days ago? Two days ago. In that run, Big Sludge was gaining... Well, not quite, right? He was gaining 20 per harvest. They're gaining 24 per round. Probably not, actually, now that I think about it a little more. Never mind, I take it back. I was wrong. We're going one mold, one echo break. I think the hosting kins are actually pretty good. Double sack shelter. God, pardon me. Alright. I'm actually not that tired. I expect it to be really struggling at this point in the video, but I'm doing fine. I'm doing A-OK -okay out here. And whatever I get, I value stone. I can... minus one, whatever. There's no real reason to reroll that shop, though. There's nothing I really care for. I think armor 20 is fine. I just have to play top floor. That's all. Play top floor. Let Echo Ride do his thing. Get a little bit of scaling going. Play... I'll play the shelters, sure. Send this guy to the back. He actually won't hurt me for that much. I also have armor, so it's kind of good to let the Steel Wings just go off. Here, fine cleanse here. I'll kill him eventually. Gosh, this double stack shelter is going to offer me an absurd amount of armor per turn if I keep pulling it out. By days I get HP. Yeah, I'm down. Let me just turn the turn or do this in the right order. Let me turn order this correctly. Yeah. I'm gonna mold. Belter. Bull crushing. Maybe I kick this can down the road. They're gonna scale up enough. I bet I killed this eventually. There's five free HP. I can grab the money. There's no reason not to. Check burnouts. Wicklash goes here. I'm gonna grab the collector because I like money. Eventually I will hit this man. If I just keep drip falling him, he'll eventually take a hit. That's good with me. I'll pull Wicklash back. I should probably stop playing posting pins at some point. He's not... it's not working, team. He's not dying. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, please. Okay. I think I should clear two of the hosting kins out. One of the problems that this run is going to face is that it's late and I'm being lazy. So I'm not actually thinking about what's in my reform pile, or my consume pile, I should say. I'm just kind of letting it rock. I think it's time for him to go up there. Yeah, he doesn't break my armor, he brings me up to full HP. Great job, buddy. I think we have enough burnout. It doesn't take a lot of burnout to win this fight. I'm also gonna daze the boss. It'll be a stomp. If I draw... If I draw Shelter on turn 1, I will win the fight for sure on the Divinity. I think I have three turns to get it. I'm not worried about my Rage versus Chase Seraph. I don't think Chase Seraph is stealth anyway. I think Resin Removal if he is. I think I'm good though. We're going left. Extra boon, infused mallet. Heavy stone's cool. Goes on echo break. Nice even 100. Wanna buy minus ones? I really just don't want it. There's no reason to. I don't think I want these. I roll. Ardenthal, Kariska, Mind Horde. 
And one card was extract. Okay, I'm gonna be buying a lot of removals here. My world to remove from. I can, I'm gonna give one of these hosting kins a remove consume. Let's give it a minus one as well. That way I can feel good about playing it. Permafrost. Meh. Nah. Okay, I'm gonna cut out one hosting kin. And what, like, two? the primitive molds are only good if I need to stabilize. And I think I get more stability out of not having them. I can dupe the shelter. Gives me a little bit better odds of hitting it. Turn one, that is. And then let's go minus one echo break. May as well get plus ten power. I'm gonna put it up here if I can cleanse. 100 pack shards, all my money spent. Let's get it. I draw six cards per turn, and I have 20 cards, so it's four turns to draw the deck. I hope we're all good. I think we are. Good Wicklash. And double the Wicklash, I think it's fine. I guess Echo Seedling the Wicklash. It gives me more burnout, which is cool. Minus six rage doesn't bother me. It also gives me zero energy purples to play around with a little bit. Uh, it's a net positive to play Echo Break there, but I think it's still not great. It feels weird, you know? We here. I have an Echo Break. We can kill one, and then drip fall another. I am getting Ember Drained on this coming turn, which is a real problem. For three? Hmm. Okay. So, can I reach 150 on the first swing? Initial feeling is no. Maybe I could have if I had gone for it, but I don't think I could have. I'm gonna play two Echo Breaks to cut these guys out. I'm gonna Drip Fall this? That's fine. I was gonna let this Light Wings walk, but alas. Okay, and then I gain Infinity Armor. I get Ember Drain. I realize maybe I should have Drip Falled the other guy. Mm, I look at the scary turn that's now bearing down on me. And I go, ah yes. It's actually 100% okay because my whole hand is free. Excellent news. They, they all look so scary, and then you realize it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. I drip fall them again. I think I get the money. By the money, I mean the HP. Okay. I'm playing this fight out a little slower, just to be sure I don't make anything terrible happen. I have to make sure that I think through the play. Oh, I can't get the dazed up because it's Chase Sarah. Fuck you, Chase Sarah. I hate you. Let me daze these guys. I'm actually going to drip fall here. I don't want to take this cur the, the Ember Drain here. What am I at? I'm at 18-9. Yeah. I could let a few of these enemies walk up and be okay, but rather not. If I hit you, that should be good enough for the Pyre Wings. But with 100 damage from Echo Right. I could put Burnout on Echo Right, actually. 15, 15. I'm just doing the math in my head real quick. Doesn't quite look right. But that's not okay. I think we're good here. Even through his... Yeah, even even through the Seraph the Chase thing, I think we're all okay. I mean, I'm just gonna super daze him while he walks up. Well... I guess I'll settle for 11. 
Okay, I'm gonna let this combat play out now. I feel like I played this entire run really slow, and I've been taking extra time in this fight, and yet this run's gonna be like, what, 38 minutes? That's a good time. I think 8 minutes for the Divinity is a reasonable expectation, although I think the Divinity might be easier than this. I'm not, I'm not gonna sweat it, of course, but I'm just thinking about it. Because I do pride myself on these runs being pretty quick. Sometimes they get a little bit lost, so... Okay, let's see how the turn one is. Mm, it's pretty bad. I'm not gonna play Hosting Kin. It's okay, our next turn will be better. It is much better. Uh, it's, it's really bad. My Paraffin Enforcers both burned out. Wait a minute. Wait a free- hold the fu- I don't have a primitive mold. Uh -huh. Huh. Well, I lost. That's amazing. I did not consider this issue here. This one did not cross my mind when thinking about this run. What if all three burnout extenders are bottom five, bottom five cards, or bottom eight cards as it were? What do you do then? What do you do? I, I can't recover this, there's no way. There is no gameplay I can do to fix this run. I... I lost. Yeah, I just lost. I duplicated Shelter. I think that's the mistake here. I should have duplicated Purifying Cleanse. Or Whiplash. Either of those to make it more consistent. I didn't even think about that, man. Wow, I, it's, it didn't even cross my mind that that could happen to me here. You draw 12 of 20. I have one of three cards I can pull. Man. Okay, well... The best thing to do now is press end turn. And not draw any more cards. Well, I guess actually I could have pressed, uh... I, I could have played the shelters. But... We'll see. Echo Wright dies now. I should have played the shelters. I killed Echo Wright. But we can go... We can save him. Mm -hmm. That hurts. Now it's just, it's so destabilized. Yeah, I lost. Okay, it's over. That's incredible. That is, that is just absolutely incredible. Both Paraffin Enforcers turn one into no burnout turn two, turn one, turn two. 12 cards out of 20. You got me, Monster Train. You know what? That... You got me. You got me fair and square here. I didn't think about that. And again, it is my fault. I said I said in this run, I can't wait to see how I'm going to lose this one. There it is. Ran out of burnout. Didn't have intrinsic, didn't have the guarantee. Here's bottom bottom deck. Man, there's so much to think about in a run of Monster Train. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Right now, too. It's funny, because at the start of the run, I said maybe I could play Lady of the House here instead, because it's more stable for Burnout. And then I said, nah. Hmm. Well, I'd like to say I learned something from this, but I did not learn anything from this. I Because at this point, that's something that if I was actively thinking, I would have known, but I just didn't think of it. Like, it really didn't cross my mind, because it doesn't happen to me earlier in the run. I don't know how I train myself to think of things like that. How do I look at that? I guess I have to just take a break, right? Maybe I'll start trying to take a, take a breather after each of the major bosses and ask myself, what are my weaknesses? Maybe I could try that. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.